Good evening and welcome to the concert this evening. Also, good evening and welcome to those who are viewing at home on the live stream. Hi, Mom and Dad. Just get that out of the way right away. Uh, that first tune was David Maslanka's uh, Illumination, a great opener, a lot of uh, activity going. The next piece is by Rolando Galante, and it's titled Redemption. Uh, when he wrote it, he was going after a musical depiction of the release and comfort that comes after a major crisis or strife uh, stressor in our lives. And certainly, uh, we all have stressors. They've got exams coming up. And uh, so the, the piece was written to depict that joy and comfort and peace that comes after the storm, so to speak. So this is Rolando Galante's Redemption. Percy Granger is one of the great composers arrangers we have for the wind band. 
most of his music is centered on folk songs. Uh, he's, he has a great knack of being able to take folk songs and transcribe them for band or uh, pianos, all kinds of things. And uh, this next piece is a result of a letter he wrote back and forth uh, with a childhood friend that he never met, but they talked about playing along the hillsides. And uh, finally, he wrote this for forehand piano and then later transcribed it for band. This is Children's March based on Over the Hills and Far Away. Thank you. 
Next we perform uh, music from Lord of the Rings. This is the first movie of the, of the series. Excuse me just a minute. They know this stuff much better than I. Uh, came out in 2000s, Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, but that's okay, because I know movies from the 70s and 80s that they've never heard of before. Uh, and some could say much more entertaining than movies of today. Uh, but nonetheless, this is uh, an arrangement of uh, high musical highlights from Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring.
as this is our last concert of the semester, we want to take just a moment and I want to thank all the students um, who have been in the group this semester. This is kind of a funny little group in that we only meet one night a week and then oftentimes we have to miss for basketball games that I have an obligation to and many of them do or other things that are going on. So uh, we don't, it's not like we meet every week, but we uh, have a regular rehearsal going in, in kind of three chunks this semester. But I appreciate all the work they've done and uh, to prepare for this evening. We also want to uh, introduce and thank the seniors who are playing their last concert with us. Uh, many of them have been in this group for many years, and we want to take a minute to thank them. And uh, as they come forward, we'll give them a, a citation cord that they can wear on their uh, gown at graduation to acknowledge their involvement in the UNC bands. So we'll start in the flute section with Thomas Boss. <laughs> And Anna De La Torre. Brooke Watson. Emma Wren. Tariq Zitke. He's getting his PhD this spring, so uh, he's been through the graduation thing a couple times already. Uh, Jacob Horner, clarinet. Jack O'Donoghue, also clarinet. And Keegan Owens, clarinet. Kate Bryan, bass clarinet. Claire Sin, alto saxophone. And then also from the alto sax section, Luke Schmedeke. Our tenor saxophone is Carson Gross. And tuba player Christopher Lipscomb. Thank you, seniors, for all you've done. And uh, don't be strangers. Come back and see us when you're back in town. We're going to finish this evening with uh, John Philip Sousa March, the gallant seventh. And I should tell you, as is tradition with university band concerts, we have ice cream and other frozen treats out in the rotunda for you after the concert. And uh, we thank Kappa Kappa Psi, uh, their newest membership class, for helping us not only set up today, but also distribute the frozen treats. So enjoy an ice cream sandwich or whatever else uh, they have out there for you. And uh, we'll finish now with the Gallant 7th. 